Never mind the news. Did you bring back the aspirin? Gloria, guess what happened at the supermarket? They broke the code. What code? The secret code at Ferguson Supermarket. What are you talking about? Ferguson's always puts a stamp on perishable foods that tells them what day it came in. But it was in code, so they knew and we didn't. But now we know. <laughs> I'm waiting for the aspirin here, Edith. Yeah, Archie. I got it right here. Yeah. Now, look at these eggs. See, they're marked X21. That means they came in this morning, fresh from the farm. Oh, I almost forgot. Guess who broke the code? J. Edgar who? <laughs> no, he wasn't in the store. <laughs> it was Claire Packer who broke the code. You know, she's the one that Glory and Mike have been campaigning for. Yeah, I know. The one that's got a big nose into everything. Oh, no, not the American cheese. No, that's today's XL. Here, eat the Swiss cheese XY. That's yesterday's. <laughs> you gotta eat yesterday's XY before you eat today's XL, because tomorrow today's XL will be yesterday's XY. <laughs> too fast. D.B. Edith. D.B.? Dingbat. <laughs> I don't want no cheese. Claire Packer. I'd like to give that Claire Packer a piece of my mind. You get your chance, Daddy. She's coming here tonight. What? Eat it. Claire Packer's coming here tonight. Just to pick us up. This is our last night to ring doorbell. Yeah, Archie? Get me an ice bag, will you? For your head? No, Edith, I want to build an igloo. <laughs> you get it? Oh, sure, right away, Archie. Claire Packer here. Now, Daddy, when she gets here, please don't start anything. No nasty remarks, no insults, please. Listen, I don't even want to look at your Claire Packer. Just leave her come in here, chain around on her broomstick, and fly the hell out of here. <laughs> your negative attitude about Claire. Who are you to look down on anyone? You're not even voting. What? Gloria, you didn't tell me that. That's right. He's not voting. Oh, boy. I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. You mean to tell me that Archie Bunker, super patriot, flag waver par excellence, is not voting in tomorrow's election? Yeah, because I cherish my vote the way you're supposed to. That's why. I don't waste it on these little meatball elections around here. <laughs> I save my vote for the biggies. Did you, did you hear that? Did you hear that reasoning? He's not going to vote because he saves it for the biggies. That's right. Your presidential, your senatorial, your governorial, your mayor of a Daddy, what about the school bonds? School bonds? Why do I care about them? You don't see any school kids running around here, do you? Archie, if you don't care about school bonds, then you don't care about the future of your country. And you call yourself an American? Yes. Well, I think of some of the things you've called me. Kinko, Kami. Don't forget Meathead. Dead from the next month. Archie, you wrap yourself in the flag and then you won't even exercise your right to vote? Gee, you won't do that much for your country. Listen, you, when my country called me, I was there. Where was you in 1942? <laughs> Wasn't even born yet. That ain't no excuse. <laughs> I was over there in Italy fighting a big one. 156 missions over Europe, my group flew. Archie, you were in the ground crew. Which, without them, the planes would have never took off. All right, all right. So you won the big one single-handed, but you don't care that we're losing a war right here at home. Listen, you Americans never lost no war. We're losing one right now. Huh? The war against poverty, injustice, ignorance. That's the war Claire Packer's fighting. Who were you? Claire Packer. Oh, geez, the queen of the liberals just blew it up. 